Uncut, uncensored truth right here on ISBC Truth Channel with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host, Sister Smith, baby. Sister Smith, baby. And if you are new to this channel, you just stumbled across this channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, is a bell. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. Hit that like button so we can stay lit all day, every day. Sister Smith? Okay, a closer. Nicki Minaj to announce pregnancy at this weekend's Grammy. Uh, Nicki Minaj is pregnant, and she plans to let the world in on it this Sunday. Media Takeout has learned. As we report last month, Nicki and her husband entertained exclusive... What Nikki I want to Day. know is... How are they living in the same house together with their first child and her husband not get arrested? Because her husband is has filed, has to file as a registered, you know, offender. Oh wow. So therefore he cannot be nowhere around little children. So how is her husband in the same house with her, with this child, and him not being arrested? With him not violating the terms of his offender status? Nobody is speaking about that. Nobody is saying nothing about that. Where is they staying at? Is you know what I'm saying? Is 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 Mr. Perry staying? You know what I'm saying? A thousand feet in a house, a thousand feet away. Did did Nicki Minaj buy a house on you know what I'm saying? Block A, and she bought Mr. Perry a house on Block B, a thousand feet away. And whenever she want to see Mr. Perry, she goes to see Mr. Perry without the child. Because you best believe, if he's so much a, you know what, offender, why is not he being arrested? Right. Nobody is speaking about that. But go ahead. As we reported last month, Nikki and her husband, entertainer, exclusive Kenneth Petty, are expecting their second child. And now we spoke to a person close to Nikki who tells us that the legendary hip hop artist planned to announce her pregnancy to the world as a Grammy. Um, how you planning to announce your pregnancy to the world at the Grammys when we are reading about you announcing your pregnancy right now? What type of what type of mess is this Nicki Minaj is doing, Sister Smith? The news media is reporting that she done because best believe nobody knows that you're pregnant, Nicki Minaj, unless you give it to your publicist and your publicist put it out there. And that's the reason why we are reading this report today. So you done already announced it today. What are you announcing at the Grammys? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you see you see the mind brainwashing that they are doing here, Sister Smith? Yeah. Number one, Kenneth Perry is no can be nowhere near this now this second baby and the first baby. And Nicki Minaj saying that she's going to announce her pregnancy at the Grammys when she done already announced it today. That's why we're talking about it today. Go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, 2023 was a huge comeback. Yarner, uh, Yarner, Nicki Minaj. The singer scored her first ever solo 
Billboard number one with Super Freaky Girl. And she was honored with the Vanguard music. You know, the thing about this is, Nicki Minaj is supposed to be a mother. How are you a mother? And how are you are married? You supposed to be a wife and a mother. But yet your mouth speaks about a super freaky girl. You you supposed to be a mother and a wife, but yet you rap and sing about super freaky girls. Last time I checked, the law, the book of Leviticus, tells us the 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 um the man and the woman's bed shall not be defiled. You know what that means? That means your sexual conquests that you do, Nicki Minaj, being that you're married, you're supposed to keep it between you and Kenny. That's what it's supposed to be done. Not portraying it on Front Street for the world to know about how super and freaky you are. That's supposed to be only because of your husband. Your husband's supposed to know that you're super and freaky. Not the world. But we know that all of this is agenda based. Go ahead. Okay. Um. The TikTok... Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Sorry. So, you know what? She is that she's a, supposed to be announcing it at the Grammy. So, you know what this is, Sister Smith? What? Because nobody really watches the Grammys. Come on. <laughs> nobody watches the Grammys no more. Ever since the, social, the world of social media was born, don't nobody mm -hmm. pay attention to the Grammys. Don't nobody pay attention to the Oscars. Don't hardly nobody pay attention to the BET Awards no more. The Vibe Awards, the Sources. Don't nobody pay attention to these award shows. They too busy on social media clinging to their favorite influencer. Amen. You, you know, so, so I won't be too surprised if the owners of the Grammys then gave Nicki Minaj a bag just so she can promote the Grammys. That's why she said, oh, I'm going to be announcing it at the Grammys. Well, you don't you need to announce it at the Grammys because you just announced it to us today. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Unfortunately, the Grammy pulled, Grammys pulled a fast one on Nikki to stop her from getting the nomination and the award that she deserved. Uh, we are, um, let me see. Controversy, I, controversy. Pay attention, controversy. You know what I'm saying? Con oh, they denying Nikki the Grammy. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the Grammys now. So now you're talking about the Grammys all the way up until the time of the Grammys. And when the time of the Grammys hit, everybody to know about when the Grammys hit. Everybody knows what time the Grammys is because everybody's talking about the Grammys thanks to Nicki Minaj, the person who the Grammys gave a bag to. Go ahead. Uh, in October, when the first round of Grammy voting ballot went out to members, Nicki took to Twitter to slam the Recording Academy for moving Super Freak Girl from the rap category to the pop category and for seemingly holding Nikki's work to different standards than other pop rap songs. Uh, in, tweet, in tweet, Nikki pointed out that if they wanted to categorize Super Freak, Freaky Girl as pop, then they should have done the same with Lato's song, Big Energy. Uh, I have no problem being moved out the rap category as long as we are all being treated fair. If SFG Super Freaky Girl has 
to be moved out wrap them so does big energy anyone who says this is simply a nikki hater or a troll she tweeted ain't nobody no nikki hater get that pedophile out of your house from around your child that's what we are concerned with that baby you know what i'm saying that's who we are concerned with you know what I'm saying? We don't want to see that baby get any type of touched in any type of way. Get your pedo husband away from that baby. Go ahead. Nikki later expanded in a video that she felt these changes were targeted. I always say this. Any rapper, female or male, that was a Grammy, that wins a Grammy, you should be effing proud of yourself. But why is the goalpost only ever moved when it's Nikki? Nikki. Well, I'll tell you why. They don't want the people that they have in the industry to go up against me. Are you, if you ask me, Nikki, I hope, I wish, why is people even nominating you? For a Grammy, for a record called Super Freaky Girl. Because all that record is doing is influencing all of your women fans to be just that. When the Bible says the woman is supposed to be modest and dressed in modest apparel and be submissive unto her husband, not freaky unto everybody. That album should be put in the trash, Nikki. It should be put in the trash. Go ahead. Minaj has now been completely shut out of the 2023 Grammys with Super Freaky Girl. Her biggest charting song is in a while getting nothing. So, uh, you have been exited out of the Grammys, but yet you said in the beginning of this article you want to announce your pregnancy at the Grammys. Which one is it, Nikki? Can you make up your mind? Go ahead. That's it. All right. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is promotion of the Grammys. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be there. She's going to be at the Grammys. She says she's going to announce her pregnancy at the Grammys. There's no need to announce your pregnancy at the Grammys because we already know it now. Congratulations. You announced it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. And how did you become so fertile all of a sudden anyway? You know what I'm saying? All them years that you was with Safari and you didn't produce nothing. Nothing. Safari is Safari fertile? <laughs> You got kids, huh? Safari got What happened to Nikki? You mean to tell me Safari was with Nikki all of them years and Nikki Safari didn't bust anything? Hmm. Mm -mm. That's how you know that this is all gender based. She was with Safari all of these years and nothing transpired. She went down to Georgia and got um, gang you-know-what, did By Gucci Man and his whole crew. Nothing transpired. She met Lil Wayne, which she said was her favorite artist. Nothing transpired. But then all of a sudden, she get with Pedro. And now she's just as fertile as the springtime. <laughs> it don't make sense, people. Anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another edition of ISBC Truth Channel, right here on ISBC Truth, with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host, Sister Smith, baby. Sister Smith, baby. And if you're new to this channel, you just stumbled across the channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit the, that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, hit that like button so that we can stay lit. Till next time, on to the next.